Yo! It's rewind time for SmackDown. We're, we're here for SmackDown. For what I have missed, what you have missed for the past two, three weeks whenever I was gone or I was just watching wrestling without covering it on YouTube. So I'm just gonna cover it. The first thing I want to talk about, The Rock returned. The last time we watched SmackDown, The Rock returned. And we... Uh, and it was electrifying. Electrifying, to say, mind-blowing. I don't know. I never expected it. In a million years, he was not been in WWE for what? Five, four years, six years, I don't know. A lot of time, man. And he came out of nowhere. It was amazing. The crowd pop was amazing. The only thing that I that went through my mind was I really want to be there. I really want to feel that crowd pop. But unfortunately, I was not there. But the only thing you can hear is that the crowd was louder than the music itself. It was fantastic. It was amazing. The only question I have right now is that was this a one-time appearance? Um, is he gonna be there next week? Probably not. Is he gonna be there after two weeks? Probably not. Um, is this the start of a feud with someone? Probably not, uh, unfortunately. Because in a recent interview he said that his match with Roman for WrestleMania 39 was locked in, uh, but due to uh, the fact that they haven't finalized what is going to be the story and how they're going to make it special. They didn't, they pulled it, pull out of it the last second. So, um, can we expect Roman versus Rock at 40 or 41? Is this, is this the start of all of this? Or we're going to see basically Austin Theory versus The Rock? I hope not. But anyway, um, yeah, a lot of questions, not a lot of answers. Um, I hope the Rock, the Rock is back for one final feud, hopefully with Roman. But Roman is gone, um, so I don't think this will happen anyway. Asuka versus Io Sky. Am I excited a lot about this? Not so much. Like, Asuka and Io Sky is kind of a match, in my opinion, that should be saved for further down the line. It's really excited to see two Japanese women with some special abilities, if we want to say this, uh, to face each other. Uh, I assume that they're close friends and uh, it would be nice to see them fight. And Yusuke just won the championship. No one expects her to lose a championship that early. So am I excited in theory about this match? Yes, if it is like a couple months from now, probably I'm gonna be way more excited for it than now. Yusuke, I feel like she didn't show her full potential yet. She didn't show her potential yet, not because I have seen her run as an NXT champion and it was great. So maybe WWE should give her more time to breathe, more space, or maybe that whole thing with Asuka is the first match of many and like the basically the Chad Gable and Gunther we're gonna have four or five matches until Asuka takes the championship or whatever happens. Let's talk about the US championship situation. Last week we saw Rey Mysterio being in the ring talking about the US championship and we saw Santos Escobar just asking for title opportunity and Rey was like yeah sure dude we're bros we you can have a title opportunity whenever you want and Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits came out they were like, guys, you're soft. What is going on? You just ask yourself for a title opportunity? That is absurd. What do you expect, Bobby, to attack themselves there in one group? What? what? And anyway, they had a match after that, the Street Profits versus Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. And of course, the Street Profits won. And after the match, the Street Profits attacked brutally the LWO. And after that, Ray and Santos helped. And after that, uh, Street Profits attacked Ray and Santos as well. And basically, the whole thing is that Bobby and the Street Profits are awesome. And they haven't showed their full potential yet. But please, baby, show them. Show the world how much potential you have. Bring Carmelo and Trick to you and show the world that the world is in your hands. 
or it's gonna be in your hands at least. What's gonna happen on the US Championship title match between Santos and Ray? I don't know, but I would assume that Bobby Lashley will interfere. And uh, for the Street Profits, I thought that he, they're gonna hunt for the titles and the titles are in the Judgment Day, not in LWO. So we're gonna see what will happen there. Is it very exciting? Not really, but I'm looking forward to it. LA Knight versus The Miss, or should I say LA Knight won. Yeah, that was a quick one. But anyway, LA Knight had like two matches with The Miss. He, he won both of them. And now, in theory, he needs to move on. And he said that he's hunting for gold. It doesn't matter if it's Gunther, if it's the US Championship, if it's Roman, if it's Seth, he doesn't care. And um, I don't know what's in front of LA Knight. I guess that the next feud for Roman is gonna be LA Knight, he's just gonna pummel him, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what is right, what is wrong, what is next for LA Knight, he just have a lot of heat and it's really fun to watch him, he, it's really fun to watch him cut the promo, it's really fun to watch him in general, and um, yeah. Last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the Judgment Day. I have talked a little bit about the Judgment Day in the Raw video uh, whenever I mentioned that Jey Uso is back, but I want to talk about the Judgment Day because the Judgment Day is covering a lot of angles right here. First off, they invited Jey Uso into the Judgment Day. After that, they invited Jimmy Uso into the Judgment Day. And if you guys remember, I feel like Roman is actually working with the Judgment Day because if you remember, approximately before one year, the Judgment Day and the Bloodline uh, had a face-off where we actually learned that they're gonna help each other for Survivor Series or for another pay-per-view, they're gonna cover each other's back. And from then I remember that there is some partnership going on with the Bloodline and the Judgment Day. The thing that saddens me the most is the fact that from the day that Judgment Day came out, I was like, I want to see Judgment Day versus the Bloodline at Survivor Series. And from the and for, by the looks of it, this is the only match that is not possible storyline wise it's just not possible because the only people that like the bloodline is the judgment day the only people that likes the judgment day is the bloodline how are we here maybe maybe there's gonna be a big match that is mixed with judgment day and solo and roman versus for example kevin owens and Sami Zayn and cody rhodes and uh, jimmy uso and whatever but yeah also the Judgment Day, as I said, covering a lot of angles. I want to cover the Judgment Day and the Bloodline, the whole drama. What is happening with Jimmy? Jimmy was the first guy that was like, I'm out of the Bloodline. And now, all of a sudden, he's into the Bloodline. But not like... And he's into the Bloodline because Solo said that he's into the Bloodline. But all of a sudden, he's excited to be in the Bloodline. What is going on with Jimmy and why his music is so bad? A lot of questions, as in The Rock's case, not a lot of answers, unfortunately. But this is Magdown for you and what you have missed for the past two weeks. In, to summarize everything, I'm really excited to see the US Championship and I'm really excited to see what is gonna happen with that whole Judgment Day Bloodline, Judgment Day Bloodline, Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, Roman Reigns, LA Knight drama. I mentioned LA Knight there because I really think that the next thing for LA Knight is gonna be the... is gonna be Roman and it's gonna be a quick one uh, just because Roman is gonna get it out of the way just so that LA Knight can do something uh, also, LA Knight and Paul Heyman had a face-off, so I, I, I would assume that Roman is gonna kick the Butovsky of um, LA Knight. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you bang bang next week. Peace. Uh, I said next week. I meant next video. That can be next week, that can be next month. Who knows?